Alright, hey everyone, this is Corsair with AMD Log. Um, today's topic is pan zooms. Basically, there's many techniques for pan zooming, but one of them is to uh, zoom in on something in the distance, so something along these lines. Basically, you fill in the missing animation with the zoom. We have two clips right here. Here's one, still image, and here's two. And basically what you want to do is, since we're zooming into the second clip, we can take the end of the first clip, open up the position keyframes, and start zoomed out, and then later we're going to zoom in a lot, and we're going to focus on the figure at the end. Notice how this image that I'm uh, zooming into is very similar to the um, image of the second clip. That's something that helps make a pan zoom very effective. So, if you watch it now, we have the very basic pan zoom. Um, you can also go through the trouble of adding Gaussian blur to um, help make it look more realistic, and that'll be that. Of course you could do the same effect in After Effects, and I always find that it comes out cleaner when you're in After Effects. Um, this is how it usually will turn out, and that's basically because After Effects has the built-in motion blur. Um, it has the easy ease keyframes, these right here, and also you can apply all the shakiness and brightness adjustments to an adjustment layer, and everything will be a lot easier. Um, so basically, we have the two clips here. If you noticed, on the first clip, I have two sets of keyframes right here, one for the position and one for the scaling. And if you notice here, we are changing the scaling a ridiculous amount, but we are also changing the position so that way we can zoom into the character in the second clip. So that's all there is to it. Add your adjustment layers, do what you need to do. Um, good luck, questions and comments below. Thanks, see you soon. Okay, so for this video's questions and comments, I am going to answer some very general questions you guys have had. Okay, so first, I will not be taking requests. Um, can't emphasize this enough, I do not do any intros for anyone anymore. Two, I cannot uh, recreate every AMV log I've made for Sony Vegas because some things you just can't do in there and some things they just don't make sense to do in there. Um, three, try not to ask me about where you can get After Effects or where you can get episodes. That's legal stuff, whatever, um, and it's not hard to find. Google is your best friend. And last but not least, there was a week extension for the Beta Battle Tournament. It's going to be this Saturday, so keep an eye out, um, support your favorite editors. Um, I've been working hard on my own video. I finally used Bleach because I know everyone's been saying, Oh, you need to make a Bleach AMV. Um, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, support your favorite editors and peace out.